Hi everyone, welcome to your Techie Buddy. So today I'm going to uh, discuss a very commonly asked uh, coding interview question these days. So let's look at the problem statement. Given an array of integer which consists of only zeros and one, so the values in the array are only of zeros or one, right? So move all the zeros to the left and all the ones to the right. So you have to move all the zeros to the left hand side. Basically in the sorted order, zeros should be in the left and ones should be on the right. But the catch is using only arrays. So let's get started. Now look at the code now. So here I have taken an integer array which consists of zeros and one in any order. Not in any particular order. It is just random. So what we'll do is we'll first take a variable called suppose count to track the number of zeros we have. So initially I'll make the count as zero. Now we'll start a for loop. From where int i is equal to zero, i less than the whole array we will traverse because we want to count the number of zeros in the total array, right? So we'll do count plus plus. When when we will do count plus plus if the array of i that means the element which we are currently in is equal to equal to zero so the only when the element is equal to zero will increase the size uh, the value of count so what will this do this will give us the count of the number of zeros right now we'll take another loop for int i that is for the getting the count now we'll do the manipulation for int i is equal to zero i less than count because we want first zeros to be handled, right? So how many zeros we have? Count number of zeros. The value of count we have, that, those many zeros. So till I, see starting index, till the i is less than count, the number of zeros, what we'll do? We will update the arith, array ith position as zero. Because we know those many zeros we want. So we'll start from the left hand side of the array, from the zeroth position, till the number of zeros, we'll just update it as zero, right? Now we'll take another for loop and we will continue this with because with int i is less than count we have dealt with now we'll start with i is equal to count the position where we left till i less than array dot length right till the end of the array now we know rest of it is all ones right because we have already dealt with uh, zeros so this is equal to one that's it now let's print the array. I'll take this. I sort what? First uh, each element with some space just for clarity. That's it. So you can look at this. This array consists of only zeros and ones. What we have done? We have traversed the whole array and we have counted the number of zeros. How? If, in, if the element we are current in is equal to zero, then we are increasing the count value. Now for with the count, what we are doing or uh, till the count is uh, i is less than count because we have started from zero position, those many zeros are there. So we are updating from the left hand side as zeros. Similarly, where we left at count. Now from count we started until the end of the array, we are just putting it as one because we know we have already dealt with zeros. Now let's print this. We'll run this program. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 zeros are at the left hand side and all the four ones are shifted on the right side. For more such coding interview questions, please subscribe to your Techie Buddy. Thank you so much.